We are feeding our fish with duckweed. This is a, a polyculture system where we have catfish and tilapia stocked in one pond. And it's just a very simple process. Um, tilapia are herbivorous feeders. So when you look at tilapia picking the duckweed, when they eat, it converts well in their body. And they are prolific in nature. That is why they can occupy the feed habitat because when they eat the duckweed they reproduce and the catfish in turn pick some of their eggs sometimes when the egg hash the catfish eat some of the small fishes that they produce and it occupy the food chain and with this process you find out that you might not need to spend much at least you can reduce your feeding cost at least to 50 percent because the fingerlings and fries helps to feed the catfish because they are more carnivorous in nature so this is another tank that have catfish this particular tank is solely stocked with catfish so you find out that they eat the duckweed also but what happened here is this the duckweed might not actually have much crude protein to meet up with their protein requirements because of their nature being the carnivorous feeder but then it's also a good supplement at least you might just need to feed your fish once a day with this particular process so I'll keep updating you on the progress so far because we are doing a lot of research here and this is the tank where we culture our duckweed you find out that this particular tank have a nutrient rich water this particular water comes from our fish tank here so you find out that we might not actually need to waste the water this is a process where you can culture your fish with running a zero waste while you maximize your profit. This is some of the things that we can tap into in the aquaculture section. And we can create more awareness on this to help people and farmers understand that there are some other alternatives to feeding. And in this present time, we are where there is very high feed cost. We can tap into some of these things to help us achieve a greater production in aquaculture. In this other tank, we have another plant here called Wofia. I call it Wofia Wonder Plant. This particular plant also grow on top of a water. It is a rootless plant. It doesn't have any roots. I'm going to take up some samples so you can be able to see. It looks more like mustard seed, so it is a rootless plant and it has a better fruit protein more than the duckweed. This wolf here has a protein content of 42%, while the duckweed have a protein content of around 30%. So we are still trying to give room for reproduction. So we are going to leave this wolf here to grow more and dominate the water space so that we can be able to harvest subsequently. So these are some of the research we have been doing over time and it's proving productive and it's working. So this is a polyculture system where we have catfish and tilapia and this other tank is a tank that we have just catfish tucked in it. So you can see the duckweed on top of the pond. Actually, um, the fish have been fed this morning. That is why there is uh, no rush on the duckweed. But without being fed, they feed on it very well, more especially the, the, the tilapia. When you pay a closer look at it, you can see someone coming to pick the duckweed. 
So thank you. We'll keep you updated.